There it is. Hey, we're hey. <laughs> Carl and I were just having all sorts of interesting conversations in the background about COP23 climate change. Starts tomorrow, in fact. Starts tomorrow. Does it? Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow's the big day. Well, yeah. I'm glad the, we're, um, we're just ahead of it then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's what me and you are always ahead of the curve. Isn't that right, Kyle? I was taught to show up early, Dom. You know, if you're on time, you're late. If you're on time, you're late. That's what my parents said. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, I, I love that. Uh, yes. So welcome, everyone. Welcome to the climate change session. Uh, climate, uh, the COP23 climate change conference starts tomorrow in Dubai. Dubai, where it's probably a very uh, lovely winter, sunny temperature. Yeah. Um, it's a good place to talk about climate change quite frankly um have you ever been to the middle east in the summer kyle you know i lived in pakistan when i was uh seven and eight years old um so that was close enough i'd say and it was it was quite warm but they of yeah. course still had winter there but no my brother lived in dubai for um two years at the beginning right. of the 21st century and then also for two years uh two years ago so he's right um he had two two stay uh stints there Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I've been once. It is incredibly hot, even in the winter. <laughs> there we go. Right. Uh, let's have a quick, in fact, let's just get this off. Let's get this off. We don't need this. Right. Let's get this off. Let's put Kyle through his paces. Uh -oh. Let's put Kyle through his paces. Right. Quick wins. Let's go for quick wins. And by the way, everybody, if you are here, do leave us a comment. We like doing shout outs. That's nice. Um, Kyle, rule number one, go. Okay, rule number one, you can pause the video at any moment because these are recorded and you're watching them as you go. So make sure that you pause if you need to pause so that you don't feel rushed when you're doing the yes. work. Kyle is a winner. He's a Thank winner. You. He knows these things. Right. Rule number two. Rule number two is we would love for you to actually finish these projects, to finish the challenges. And so if you do finish the challenges and you, as Dom says, Pester your teachers mercilessly <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to let them know that you finished them um, and let us know, probably, uh, excuse me, that you finished them. Then, of course, you're going to get some cool stuff, which we call. Yes. yes. Swag. And number three, Carl's got it in the bag. He's got a three pointer here. Yeah. Well, we're on that same topic with the swag. So if you're going to, you know, go ahead and complete both challenges, um, then I believe if you. And then you go and teach people. Teach people, that's right. Then you're going to get the extra special swag, which once yeah. again, I have to tell everybody is not a Lamborghini Countach circa 1985, but it's still something <laughs> cool. <laughs> Old school vibes. I love it. Old school vibes. Right. Let's have a look what we're doing today before me and Kyle disappear into the waffle universe. Right. <laughs> uh, COP23 climate change. If you need the link, you can go here. Uh, bit.ly forward slash express climate express climate uh if you're i don't see the link there dom i'm sorry is it up on uh, the screen oh what what have i done do you know what it's there it is it's lucky carl here can you see it now <laughs> yep good right lucky carl's here oh i won't <laughs> even tell you um yeah there's the link bit.ly forward slash express climate if you need it or you can scan the qr code with your ipad and get through to this page too um i've also emailed it to your teachers maybe they've passed it around to you already challenge number one this is kyle's creme de la creme suprême uh what is it <laughs> kyle tell us all about it yeah it's an infographic poster we're going to create about some different energy sources we can use to combat climate change to slow it down and maybe even someday if we really adapt all these reverse climate yeah, exactly. change we're going for positive vibes aren't we in this sesh indeed yeah indeed so that one's uh that was a good one uh and then this one here inventions climate change inventions write and design a web page on four amazing and innovative climate change solutions such as solar powered schools ocean cleaning robots tree planting drones or wind powered playgrounds I uh, loved that one, in fact. That sounds really cool. I'm looking forward to following along with that one. That is very nice. Yeah. So on both of them, they've got a button which you can click. Click that button, and it will open up things like this, renewable energy sources. We put four in there, but you can choose three, if that makes sense. Yeah, uh, choose three of the four. 
Yeah, and then you can also go for this one as well. This is the one we're going to do for Challenge 2. So you'll have both of those Google Docs, which will help you to build your work. Right. That's enough of that, I think. That is just enough of that. So why don't I stop sharing that so you can see our beautiful faces. Oh, hi from Green Hill School. Hello there, Miss Price. She's a known quantity, Miss Price. Ah. Is a known quantity. Very nice. I'm glad people are saying hi. Yeah, nice to see you. And um, anybody else out there, give us a shout. Yeah. So, guess. Dom, should we uh, should we get rolling? We've got a lot yeah. to do here. Yeah, let's get rolling. Right. I'll tell you what I'll do, actually, Carl, if it's all right, because I don't want to upstage you because I know this is your big moment. Uh, but what I'll do is, <laughs> what I'll do is I'll just get iPad people to the right place. And then, because we're going to swap back and forth between myself very and Very important. Carl. Yeah, I'll get iPad, iPad people to the right place because it is kind of the same, really. Um, and then we can move on from there. So uh, you can see at the top, it says start from scratch. To be honest, you know, you just need a kind of like sort of a poster A4 type thing. I'm going to go for a, a flyer. That's it. Double tap the text, press delete, and we're rocking and rolling already. Um, and then if you go to layout, you'll see that you'll be able to scroll across. And we need five sections, don't we, Carl? That's right. We're going to be using grids today, so make sure you know where the grids are. Yeah, exactly. So it's slightly different on uh, the uh, browser experience, and Carl's going to show us through that. Okay. Yeah, the main difference will be that with the grid, instead of seeing those solid color fills, we'll actually see photos or placements for photos. But don't worry about that. We know our way around it, and we can easily solve it. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Here we go. So... We are on the homepage for Adobe Express, and there's our purple plus right here in the top left corner. And I'm just going to tap on the plus, and here we go. I have options for flyer, poster. Either one of these is really fine, frankly, but we're just going to do a poster today. All yeah. right, so we'll start from scratch with a poster, and there we have our blank document. Do you know Over what? A little, on... a, a little known fact that nobody really wants to know is that a flyer is a little bit shorter than a poster. So actually a poster might be a better choice. Quite yeah. Now, considering that we do have a call, um, sorry, five rows here, maybe having a, a taller format will make that a little bit easier for what you want to do with the information today. Yeah. Good call out. True All right, so here we go. We're going to go over to the left and you have grids over here in your in your options. We're going to select grids. And you'll see a whole bunch of different choices. What I'm looking for is something like this, where we have three rows, but I want a total of five. So I'll just keep on scrolling down until I see right here. One, two, three, four, five, and boom. Boom. <laughs> there it goes, right there on the canvas. Nice. And you can move that around. You can also tuck it over here in the top left corner. And then using the handles, which are these little white elongated... Um, ovals and the ovals and circles i can pull it all the way down this way and then pull it across to completely fill the surface area all right now that's step one yeah so find that find that five um row grid and lay that out uh dom shall i pause there or, or what do you want to do yeah yeah all right pause pause there okay why not and then uh and then let's so let's go here. I chose flyers last time, but actually posters is on right on the way on the right hand side. If you can see it right on the right of my screen there, go to posters, double tap to edit the text, just select it and then delete. Is that the bottom? You can see it grayed out there now. And then you go to layout. You see that layout there. And then you've got the grid. So this is the same as Kyle now. And I'm going to do it for uh, five alive there. Click done. Bottom right. And we are pretty much we're on uh, we're on Webster level. Let's go back to Webster level. All right, here we go. We're on the Webster level, we have one extra step that's required in order to replace these photos, which are just placeholders right now. We actually don't want to use these photos. We just want to use solid color fills. Okay. Now remember, we can choose three renewable energy sources from that document. And I think it'd be nice to use colors that are appropriate for each of those energy sources. Oh, so for example, did you do that? I didn't notice no. that, you sneaky thing. I like to use a little bit of a logical approach, Dom, sometimes. Um, <laughs> and I don't apply it to the rest of my life, but when it comes to design, hey. 
<laughs> so, um, you know, I'm going to I'm going to stop sharing for just a moment and I'm going to share my entire Google Chrome window so that when I switch between tabs, you'll be able to see everything I'm doing. So, yeah, good show here. One moment. Yeah, that is one of the things. That's why I keep forgetting to like share the right tab because it, it depends on what function you're using, doesn't it? When you present. Yeah, but if I share the entire um, window for Chrome, you should be able to see me bouncing around from one tab to another like that. Ta -da! Yay, there he is. So for example, I'm gonna use these top three, solar, wind, and hydroelectric. And for solar, I wanna use a bright orange color. So let's jump right. back here. Yeah, this I top I row. I didn't clock that. I didn't clock that. That's why you're that's why you're the, the guest of the best. <laughs> Because that's the kind of thing yes. you do. The guest with the best, not the guest with a the mess. There's a difference. All right, now <laughs> at the top here, we have this first column, a row, part of me, is going to be for my titles. But the second one here, and you'll notice when I tap on it once, I can see that it's outlined and it's got two handles, top and bottom. Now I know that I'm in the right row. I want to get rid of the photo that's there. And all I have to do to do that is hit delete or back on the keyboard and it's gone. So if I tap on it once more, uh -huh. okay, now you see over here we have cell background and the fill color options, and this is what you want. So by tapping on that, I can go to my custom colors and here I can go into that nice orange. We'll make that nice and saturated and bright and happy. There we go. Push it a bit more towards the red. And I say, that's what I want. Do it. Yeah, and you need to and just click that again and then yeah, go to the orange again. You need to put that slider. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know why it does that. It seems odd that it does that. It sets it at zero. Yeah, I'm not sure why by default the opacity yeah. is set to zero, but that's a good one there. You got to make sure that you do that. Mm. All right, I'm going to push that a bit more towards red because I'm so picky. All right, that's how you change the color of one of the rows on the browser version of Express. Now... Dom, for you, it's slightly different, right? Yeah, let's go there. Right. So there we go. Okay. So mine just go in there all as solid colors, which is a bit strange, but don't worry. Everyone on the app will soon be doing the same things as the browser in the new year. So we're around about Christmas time, really. So I'm in these three sections here the yellow, the green, and the sort of coral red, I suppose, or coral pink, whichever one you go for. Now, I could keep that yellow there because that is pretty sunny. But actually, mm. what about if I kind of make it a bit more sunny? Carl's gone for a sunset. I've gone for a midday kind of sun. <laughs> uh, there we go. But uh, do you know what? I think the reason, one of the reasons why Carl's probably gone for that sunset -y kind of orange is probably because the text will stand out. And that's that's why he's one step ahead. Um, that is actually the reason, yes. Yeah. All right. Now, let me, let me do the other ones um, just because I'll do this. This is quicker on here, and then we can go back to Carl. Sure. Uh, Second section, what would you say that one was? Was it the was it the wind? So the the second one I had was wind, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me just have a quick. So you've gone for blue with the wind. So again, you know, you can scroll across, that'll do. And then the other one was hydroelectric. Ah, right. So what did you go for there? I did a sort of teal, a dark yeah. teal, greenish teal. blue. I was thinking of like seawater, but you know. Yeah. Okay. No, I get that. Yeah. Um, now, hmm. Well, no, it's not looking very tealy there. That's there like a, that's a sort of a teal, but it's too close to the one above, isn't it? So let's sure, go but you in make, there. Win something else. It could be a purple. It could be like a, a violet or something. I mean, it doesn't really. That'll do. What is what is the color of wind anyway? <laughs> It's it's depends which it's wind you're talking about, I think. Uh, there we go. So I'm I'm happy with that. That'll do. That'll do is a nice little spectrum. And then the one at the top and the one at the bottom, we'll do something else with those. I think we'll do images with those. But uh happy to go back, Carl. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Cool. All right. So I'll do the same now. I'll select this second row, or rather it's the third, but it's the second for my information. And again, I'm going to delete it just by hitting delete. Select it once more, go to the fill colors, and in my custom colors, I'm going to slide on over here to a nice blue, and we'll take a look at what that does. Whoop, just like that. And let's do the same here for the, th the third one, or rather the fourth from the top, okay? 
delete, tap on it once more, and we'll go over here to our fill color and change this. So custom colors, let's go down here and give that a look-see. Nice. Yeah. There we go. All righty. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. All right, so I've got some colors there. And Dom just mentioned using photos or some other information to get rid of the other or replace rather the other rows. Um, I want to quickly point out another thing you can do now. Now, Dom, I don't know if you can do this or not on the iPad, so we shall see. I'll find um, out. But selecting this entire grid, you notice with one tap, I select the entire grid, right? Yeah. There are some options over here for the space. Yes. Glad you, right? glad you went on to that. Yeah, I can, I'm, I can be at this party. Carry on. Oh, nice. You know, I can yeah. crank that up like this. But what I want is for it to be just a little less. I don't want those white spaces in between to be so crazy. So no. I'm going to set them at a value of 20, like right. so. There so that's the go. next thing. Cool. Let me uh, let me do that so um, we can show people. So um, here, let me just cancel out of that. Um, if you go, once you've got your page here, you can go to layout. And it's pretty much the same as what Carl was doing there um border and cell are linked by the padlock you can see the padlock there you can take the padlock off put the padlock on i mean uh do i want to do that maybe i do actually no i'll keep it on and then and then so i the, the values are slightly different here so you know i go to like seven on mine i think then why is seven on border six on cell that seems odd but then um in terms of colors i just go for a white and then that just gives that little separation because you know I'm not quite as uh, not quite as pro as Carl in terms of colors. And my blue and my teal or my green are kind of a little bit too similar. Uh, so actually the border just helps to kind of ease that out a bit. So you can go to layout, go to border, and I might say, do you know what? I want to make that a little bit chunkier. Go to eleven and then click. Nice. Uh, I mean, just like Spinal Tap, it goes to eleven. <laughs> I love it. All righty. Sorry for the old movie references, folks. Um, <laughs> showing my age. Dinosaur. Okay. At the top, um, we're going to take this top cell and we are going to just say bye-bye. You are gone for now. I'm going to use that for my titles. Um, but actually, you know what, Dom? I'm going to undo that. Oh, yeah. And the way I did that was I can do Control-Z on the keyboard or you can use these handy-dandy curved arrows at the top undo redo undo redo basically you can time travel when you're using um that express is true. he's not lying because i've decided instead that when i've had that selected i actually want to replace that photo and yeah. i'm going to do a search for the word leaf and what i'm looking for is just a solid background like this see this one right here nice and i'm going to take that and I can change, remember, the opacity. So I'm going to lower that opacity. Mm -hmm. I just want to have a little bit of texture back there, something mm -hmm. kind of pretty. Mm -hmm. And leave that right there. Because we are talking about the Earth. We're talking about earthly things. And I just think that'll that'll be something kind of nice right there. Cool. Um, so there you go. I've used the photo. I've, I've swapped it out. And I've lowered the opacity. And that is where I'm going to have my titles. And I think we can jump to the titles next. Um, and uh, Dom, for this area down here, this photo right here, I'm actually just going to do another search for Earth because I want to show the top of the planet, whatever that means. It's a sphere, so no top. But I want to show the planet <laughs> um, peeking out up here at, at the top. We're talking about our dear planet Earth here. Yeah. And I'm just looking for all these results. There are. I think this is going to. I think this is going to put this one on top. I think. I think. Um. I don't think you've selected the replace yet. Oh right. Let me just make sure yeah. I do that. Thanks. So I'll grab it and grab it and really replace good. Earth. There There's Earth. So many Earths. So many Earths. <laughs> um. <laughs> don't tell everyone. That's a secret. A state secret. Oh, I forgot. Oh no. Yes. Too late. Why is there somebody knocking on my door? <laughs> all right um here's a good one i'll grab this guy um oh, yeah. but kyle but kyle you don't want that black background and i say to you never you worry about that because i'm first going to make this um whoops i'm going to make the photo bigger 
Okay, and I can use the handles for that. See these guys right here? Just drag it yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Just gonna make it bigger, make it bigger, and then slide it on down here. You see all of this is happening inside of that cell, right? Very funky. Yeah, but once I select that photo once more, look over here where the dog is. Oh yeah. Remove background, and that's just going to pop it back to a white background. Oh, and why are you removing the background? I really like the white um, because I'm okay. going to, yeah, I'm just going to use a, a different color for the background there. If I can use some green or something to match the top. Yeah. Okay. I cool. just like it, but you could also just leave it if you want. You like the black. That's fine too. All right. Let me, uh, let me have a bash at that. So top, just selecting that top cell. And then you can see down the bottom, I've got replace there. So replace it and it says, what do you want to replace it with? I'm going to go for Adobe Stock Photos. These are all the free ones. Dim, dim, dim. And then I'll go for, I think I pressed the top one. So I'll go for Leaf. Uh, and then I'll just put Enter. Right, Mr. Card shows one of these bad boys. That one there, that'll do. Add one at the top. You can see it's got the little blue tick. And then it says add one at the top. So it just goes straight in there. Now, with that, you can just you just tap and just move it. Um, but then also tap and you can adjust it. No, didn't want to adjust it. Looks. No, didn't want to do that in either. Enhance. Didn't want to do that. Just go to edit. Uh, I'm just trying to think of a way to remove to bring the opacity down. That's all I want to do. Oh, uh, for the photo. Hey. See here. Um, let's see. Let's see. That's an odd one. I thought it would just be such. I would think it'd be under edit. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. I was like, where is it? Let's go to enhance and go to saturation, which is kind of not the same, but not the same at all. In fact, let's cancel that. Uh, what are the options under edit? I would is is um yeah. odd. Um. Mm. Edit, replace, remove, background, move freely, delete info. Hmm. I was expecting just a <laughs> opacity thing. Where's it gone? Oh, well, let's do something else instead then. Let's go. Let's Maybe just use a light up. green. Yeah. Yeah. Just change it up or enhance. Bring the brightness up. Oh, yeah. Brightness all the way up. And then highlights and shadows. All uh, Shadows maybe all the way up. All the way up. Oh, no. Maybe all the way. Wait. I'm, I, we're just playing around with it just have a little bit of fun with it that's all you need to do click done this is all that's part fun. of the process it's good for yeah. people to see that we you know we're trying to find, find out how to do this ourselves sometimes yeah <laughs> yeah i'm just amazed that there's no opacity thing on there that is just blowing my mind and then i've selected the bottom one here again press replace again go to adobe stock photos car's gone for an earth so I'll go for an Earth as well. Uh, 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 uh. Meanwhile, I say this: uh, free Toblerone chocolate bar for anybody that tells us how to fix the opacity <laughs> out there. If yeah. Everyone wants to weigh in out there who's watching. You just send it in the chat. T tell you what, know. Toblerone king of chocolate. Is that what you mean? <laughs> That's the one. That's Swiss. the one. I always liked it because it's a triangle. That's all I cared about as a kid. It was, just <laughs> fun that it was a triangle. You break off those little triangles. Oh, amazing. Uh, <laughs> I like the uh, orange one. That's my favorite. Um, I'm going to go for one that's already got a background removed on it just because I'm lazy like that. Oh, then, that looks... I really like that one. I like yeah, the colors better. That's good. I like that. Still still amazed by this... Uh, amazed by this no opacity thing. Oh, it's hidden there somewhere. What's under yeah. info when you go to edit? No, it can't be that. That's like what? who, who made the photo. Anyway... Okay. Such is life. What about adjust? Oh, what does it say on the left? Adjust, nudge, rotate, scale. Yeah, this is blowing my mind. Anyway, not to worry. That one's in there, and we're looking good. So let's go back to Carl and see what other goodness we've got going on. Well, there Dom, go. I've gone ahead. I've gone ahead and taken my photo and pumped it all the way up to 100% opacity as well, because Ooh. I think we can work around this. Yeah. By creating a little a little container for our title. Cool. Nice idea. Um, yeah, and uh, this is something that maybe a lot of people don't know you can do, but you can have, when you write text in Express, you can actually add containment uh, shapes to it, which That's is true. really easy and fun. Yeah. Um, so 
for example, I'm going to write here, I'm going to tap on text and then say, add your text. And I'm going to do the main titles here. So we're going to write all, uh, we're sorry, renewable energy sources. Right. Sources. Okay. I'm Voila. Doing as well, renewable. Now, first thing I'm going to do with this is use a very special feature, which is dynamic text. If you look over uh, here, text you love that layout. Ta -da. You love that. There it is. You so what that. this does is it automatically adjusts the size of each word so that everything lines up into a nice box, if you will. Okay. Yeah. Renewable energy sources. And of course, I have all kinds of fonts I can choose from. This one's kind of nice. Renewable, and I like that. And um, these are recommended fonts. If you want to see more of them, you tap on View All, and then you just scroll on down. You got all these fonts. Some of them are a little funky, a little weird. Maybe you don't want to use those. Maybe you do. Up to you. Um, but I like this one I've chosen here. I think it's quite nice. Yeah. And now, what I was just talking about, okay, is the ability to add a shape. Look here, shape. You have to scroll down to find it. Nice. And here you're going to see options like a little pill. That's what that's called. You have decorative ones as well. And if you say show more, oh my goodness, look at all these cool options. Wow. Okay. So you do have a lot of cool things. You can even do something like this. And if you make it a little smaller from the corner there, you'll see what that looks like, right? So we've yeah. got a little flag, we've got circles, we've got squares, we've got the pill shape, et cetera, et cetera. Now, let's tap on one here for this, let's say, for example, this um, this one here, this fancy frame. Any of the ones you tap on, if you tap on it again, you'll see these little sliders. You tap on it again. Now you can do things like make sure that there's plenty of what we call breathing room around our text, right? Uh -huh. So it doesn't feel too cramped, all right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You can even change the opacity of that shape if you wish, right? Maybe you want some of that leaf pattern to still show through. You could do that if you will. And then shape fill. This is going to be the color. So if I make that white, yeah, then we can take a look at that. So I can drag this up here and resize that a little bit like so. And then remember, we have these guides. See that pink line? I'm over here. And I yeah. start moving to the left and then wham, that pink guide shows up and snaps everything into place and tells me that I've got my stuff centered on the page. Nice. Renewable energy sources. Okay. Yeah. So at any point, if you wish, you can tap on the text again and you can change your shape by going back to shape. Maybe you look at it and say, that's eh, not really what I want. I want something like that. Or I just want that simple pill shape like that. Maybe that's all I want. Lots of choices. Um, but there you go. And it's, it's really nice. You can, you can do whatever you like. Um, now, because I've got this dark blue down here from the earth, right? What I'd like to do is take my, um, whoops, let me go down here to the shape fill color. And the shape fill means the color of the shape that contains your text. I'm going to mm -hmm. go to custom and I'm just going to use a really dark blue, kind of like what I see down there in the earth. And I'm going to take that shape opacity all the way up to 100. And that means I'm going to now match that color down there. But you'll notice renewable energy sources looks a little dark against that blue. So what do you need to do? Very easy. Go to your text fill color and make it pop. Make it pop. A little bit of That's white right there. The and famous. so now it's like, you know, you're taking this idea, this blue shape down here, and you're just mirroring it up here with the title. Very cool. Now we're missing the word three, the number three, pardon me. So we'll get to that in a moment. But first, I want to make sure that everybody can catch up on the iPad. Yeah, cool. Also, uh, Miss Price. Miss Price, we know you're a smarty pants. She's such a oh, smarty look. pants. Well, she does know that, but I think it's that's, that's not the iPad one, though. But do you know what? Miss Price is a massive smarty fan. She knows exactly what she's talking about. She doesn't need she doesn't need us to tell her anything. 
I know that for a fact. She's very, <laughs> very smart. She's an excellent. She's like a big time Google person as well. Um, she's very, very good. Right. Let me go to mine and go here. OK, so I've been messing around, having having fun. Let me go to edit and just delete that. So uh, if you want to put your text on, go to add, go to text, go to renewable energy sources. OK, click done. Right. That goes in there. Now, what can you do with this? Well, you can go you can do things like go to a mm, which word was it again? Let's go to. Uh, no, well, you have got a style wheel in here, which is pretty cool. And it will, oh, do, wow. it will do exactly what Kyle was showing you before, quite frankly, uh, which is cool. But if I say cancel to that and select that, I'm going to go to edit. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Let me just find out where I was. Um, effects. Shape. Right. I'm going to go to ah. shape. Put a shape on it. Go to the little um, slider in there. I don't know if you saw that. Go to the little slider down there. And then you could mask the text, but then change the oh. color of the box to white. Click done. And then you could take a little bad boy up there. Look at that. I like that. It's all right, isn't it? I mean, it's a, that's a really quick way. I mean, obviously, you probably want to go in and choose like a font that actually you like. You know, that would make a, that would make a difference as well. And then if you stretch that out, and then maybe you'd do things like alignment and left align it. Maybe if you want to do that, you could always uh, have them all because you know you have got to fit in that uh, number three that Carl's going to do. So you could always, you know have it on three lines so you've got a big space for a little three on the other side you can do things like go to spacing and do letter spacing so it kind of stretches across the page if you're thinking well actually it looks a bit a little bit lonely there uh then you give you know make sure like bulk it up like it's been the gym and then you go in there but also you can go to style and just keep on going through until you find something that you like but to be honest I don't think you should do that, quite frankly. I think you should go and do it manually by going to choosing your font. Let's go to, I think I'm going to stick with the flood one. Uh, then I'll go to uh, effects, put a shape on it, go to the little slider, mask the text, which means you can see through the text, but then change the box to white. Uh, oops, change the box to white, click done. Oh, click done. There we go. Uh, what's happening? What's happening? Let's click done. What's it <laughs> oh, it's changed everything. Let me go back there. Change the color to white. There we go. Uh -huh. click done. There we go. And then we've got our thing here, which we can. Come on, people. Help me out here. Done again. Right. I just had to click done twice. And then I'll sneak it in there. Change the alignment to the left. Express wants you to be certain that you want to do that. Like, are you, <laughs> yeah. You're done. Are you sure? Okay, you're done. <laughs> Extra certain. And I'm just going to make sure that it's, I've got that dotted line across the middle. There we go. That'll do. I'm happy with that. Right. Let's have a look at Kyle's. Well, I'm going to add the number three, three renewable energy sources. So here we go. Add my text. And we're going to just type three. There we go. All right. Now, I want this to be big and bold and interesting. So let's do this one. I like that. Woof. Look at that. We can also look at more options here. You have all kinds of, wow. Do you know what? I have to say, this is kind of kind of doing it for me right there. <laughs> um, there's so many different options. Ah, I don't know. This is the problem when you have too many choices to make. Um, let's see. That might be the, that might be the best, most postery kind of look. So we'll stick with that for a minute. Uh, what I was going to do, though, was, was actually do some effects with this text. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to make that bigger because I want it to line up next to this um, this pill that contains the rest of our text. Oh, yeah. And I was going to add an outline to it right here. Okay. Yeah. Outline. Now, by tapping on that and making it white, you can see what that does. And I can then 
tap over here on the outline thickness. And let me just zoom in so you can really see that clearly. There we go. All right. Um, by tapping on that outline thickness, see, I can make that really crazy looking. So you've got a double outline, three renewable energy sources. Now, if that winds up being a little bit illegible, don't worry. You can always come over here and swap it out for another one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to make that a bit bigger. I can place it even directly on top to make sure it's the right size. And look, I could even connect it a little bit like that. That's kind of oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. Three renewable energy sources. You can also come in here and look at all the different options. Remember, a lot of text has what are called font family uh, weights. So all of these are different weights, okay? Gotcha. And if I were to go into, for example, another font like this one, which is one of the ones I liked as well. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. They yeah. have all these different sizes. They have italics even like that. Oh, that's kind of nice. Darn, too many choices here. That's kind of yeah. cool. I like that too. Well, anyway, too many choices. We'll go back to this. And then, oh, and this is nice too. Dom, I'm just going to play with type for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Kyle, come on. Yeah, no, no, we'll go, we'll go back. We'll keep it simple. And I'm going to do the reverse of the renewable has a blue pill with white type. I'm going to make this uh, blue type with a white outline. So the fill color then. I have to use this. If you haven't used this before, the eyedropper tool is especially handy. You tap on it and anywhere you move it on your canvas, it will select the color from that part of the canvas. So I'm gonna select the blue right here. And now I've gone ahead and done that. Now, if I zoom in really, really, really large, you'll see a tiny little green speck right here in that three. Now, folks, if you wanna be a pro, okay, and I know you do. <laughs> Then what you want to do is you want to take that text outline thickness and make it just big enough to fill in that little gap. All right. Uh, you don't yeah. want little bits and pieces like that messing things up. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now here's the next thing, Dom. Select three, select renewable energy sources. How yeah. do I select them both? I hold the shift key down and an you express, did. you're going to do it differently. Um, but it can be done. And now look, I can move these together like so. And I'm looking for that pink line oh. that tells me, hey, you are centered and good yeah. to go. And there we go. Three renewable energy sources. Nice. Right. Let's take a let's take a look at that. So I kind of um Oh, cool. Yeah. So what I did with this one is I just put a number three in there using the um you know the add text thing um i mean i'll do it again add go to text just put number three in done and then it's given me something already uh which i just played around with uh you know one of the things that i did here was go to edit so i wanted the i wanted the color of the text to be white uh yeah and then i wanted the it's give me an outline there what I'll do is I'll go to, what do I want to go to? Effects. You see on the outline color, what I actually did, like Carl was talking about, uh, you know, you can choose the color you want. So I'm going to select that sort of uh, box there. And if I go to custom or I can just go to the dropper tool, keep my finger on the screen. And I selected uh, like some of the green to try and make it blend in. And then, then you can just bring that. And then once you click done, of course, you can just bring that into position. There you go. Uh, I need to, I'll just get rid of that one because I've already done it. And then if you want to select multiple, you select one. And then down the bottom, you see that button there, select multiple. And then select another one, click next. And then you can play around with that and put it wherever you think is best. Yeah, you can always center it visually. Yeah. So there's, there's mathematical centering and visual centering. And you sometimes mathematical centering looks good, but sometimes visual centering looks good because you just center it in a way that feels centered yeah. to you with your eyes. Yeah, so I'm good with that. That's all good. Right. Let's get let's get filling in these boxes, I think. All right, let's do it. You notice I changed mine even I found another Ooh, option which I didn't even nice. know existed. Yes. I, I selected on renewable energy sources and under shapes, 
there's this cool yeah. option where you can actually go all the way across the screen. Yeah, you can do that, that in. Like, um, you can do that in the app as well. It's just in shape. That's pretty nifty. I didn't know that existed, yeah, so I, I took advantage. I like it. There it is. Um, all righty. So solar. What do we want? Well, let's just go to media, and we'll do a search for S O L A R, and hit go. And look at this, a whole bunch of nice solar panels. Sweet. This one's lovely. Just tap that, put it on the screen. There we go. Um, what else do we need? We need wind power. So if I just type wind power and hit go, no surprise there. I get a bunch of nice windmills, lots mm -hmm. to choose from. All right. So I think I'll get a photo that has several windmills in it. Um, I'm making sure to look for a freebie in case anybody wants to grab the same asset as mine. Mm -hmm. uh, again, lots of choices. This one's in the water. This one's on a hillside. Um, these are some freebies here. Uh, we have one in sunset. There's one outside in a field. Lots of choices. Um, I don't know. This one might be good. Just place that on the canvas as well. Make it a little bigger so I can see it. And last but not least, we need hydroelectric. And for that, I'm just going to do a wave because we're talking about water moving and creating power, right? Yeah. And it's also because you're going to get pretty pictures when you do this. So lots of neat waves. I want something with a curve to it like this. I like that a lot. This one's really lovely as well. Let's grab this one and we'll slide it on down there. And what I want to do with these is crop them, Dom. So if you've never used cropping out there, folks, cropping is great. Um, and by the way, uh, Ms. Price was asking about the Toblerone, expecting it to come. I said that the official <laughs> Swiss Mountain... Adobe Swiss Mountain Goat is on the way to the chocolate shop. Hey. So don't worry. We're on it. Um, now, let's do this. I'm going to make that photo bigger. And you think, well, that's too big. It is for the moment. Don't worry. Don't worry. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to crop it by tapping yeah. on crop right here. Crop. Yeah. yeah. And look, you have some basic squares and things, but this is where it gets fun. Shapes. And I'm going to select this triangle, Okay. Now, the triangle will crop the photo. It'll only reveal part of the photo inside the triangle. Yeah. And what's cool is you can take that and you can go ahead and flip it like we've done with many other things. Mm -hmm. See that triangle right there? The reason I'm going to flip it is I'm going to tuck it over here on the right, and I don't want this piece of orange to show. So we come over here and flip it horizontally, and then I can just resize it. We'll come over here and snap it in the corner right there, resize it so it fits nicely inside. And that's it. And so I'll do that for the other two as well. Um, but Dom, if you want to show everybody how to do that on the iPad, I'll, I'll carry on over here. Yeah, with pleasure. Let's go. Right. I'm, I'm going to be a bit sneaky here. Uh, <laughs> okay. So um, the way I've decided to do this, if I just get rid of this so you can see, right. So go from the start, I'm going to go to Add, go to Adobe Stock. Uh, I'll go to Solar. Uh, okay. And then I'm looking for something which is going to work well in this kind of triangle-ish format. Uh, and I'm going to go for this one here. I mean, they all kind of work, really. Uh, press Add. And then here, choose where to add. Move freely. That's the one you want. Move freely. Right. Once that's in there, I'll put it up to the top, right? I just put it there. And then also, I think I'll stretch it so that it covers the whole cell. Then I'll go to crop and shape down the bottom. You can see it down there. And then rather than the um, rather than the triangle, I think I might be sneaky and go for the parallelogram. Oh, nice. That's two triangles. Yeah. And then I'll kind of squish it down a bit because I want the angle to be more pronounced, I think. Mm -hmm. and click done and then and then i'll bring it over here oh that's getting very big so i'm gonna have to shunt it out to the corner but you can I like that. that yeah it's sort of slightly different isn't it i suppose it's just a different shape the only one thing about it is is that it does kind of affect the um the just the edge of the cell a little bit i don't know whether i'm bothered about that or not it kind of overlaps if you can see i noticed it. that too and so i just i'm being careful about um you know Zooming yeah. in and sort of getting it right on the edge there. Yeah, so maybe maybe I'll have to 
go back to the kind of original, I suppose. Uh, let's do that and then bring it in. Well, you're going to have the same issue, but you can just size it enough to where, you know, it yeah. fits quite nicely. Yeah. I mean, the one issue with my photo is that actually um, it's very orangey. So actually it's the same as the background I've got. So I could go in and search solar again because I've pressed replace on mine, you see. And then what it will do, the beauty of that is that if I then go in there and choose, say, like this one and then press add one, it'll swap it out, which is quite cool. And then I can, you know, put that into a better place like that, for example. And then also uh, if I just use my oh, I just did that, didn't I? I just I didn't press done. Press oh. done. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then I can pinch my fingers to zoom out a bit. And then the, the good thing about that is you can select it and then you can duplicate it. Do you see that? Um, ah, like, yes. Yeah. And then I could bring it down here and then I could, oh, didn't want to remove background. Stop. No. Oh, it removed it anyway. Let's go back. Uh, so grab my shape, bring it down and then did you flip it over to the other? Did you have it on the other side for the second one? Yeah, I decided because there are three, we go one, two, three, left, right, left, yeah. or right, 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 left, yeah. right, either way. Who cares? But so it's nice to do that. a little zigzag. Yeah, so I could flip that. So I've got the shape that Carl's saying there. And then, um, and then I can go back to edit and go to replace again. And the beauty of this is it's the same size, it's the same shape. I've flipped it over. And now I can just go in, and this one was wind, so I can go for like wind turbine or whatever, and then it will just it will use all the same things that I, you know, worked on before, but it will just put them into the new kind of just swap them out just into the new frame. There you go. Probably not a great one there. Maybe I'd have to flip the photo. That's a time or... saver. What you just showed though, Any, anything you can do to save time with these yeah. by doing things like duplicating or, you know, yeah. th this is really where you get into helping yourself out um, yeah, by sure. not having to, re you know? Yeah. But you, you do have to be a bit more careful about sort of, you know, which photos you choose. So I need to, I need something to be tall on the right hand side here. So let's go for wind again. Winter. So I want it to be tall on the right hand side. Uh, maybe like that one, that'll do. And then can I bring it down? Oh, uh, do you know what? I'll mess around with that. No one wants to see me messing around with this car. You go on with yours. <laughs> then, uh, well, I back. will say too, I will say too, that the triangles aren't necessary. This is just a way to add a shape to your design. That is a little, it's just like, it's like if someone expects to see a rectangle and you show them a triangle, maybe it's a little bit more exciting. It's a little more interesting. Maybe it's more fun yeah. for you. Who knows? Um, but you can see what I've done. I did exactly what Dom did. I, I just went ahead and added the triangle cropping to each of the three. So I've got a wave, I've got a windmill, and I've got some solar panel action right there at the top. And what we want to do is we want to describe for everybody, since this is an infographic, what are we looking at here? So this first one is solar, okay? Now I've already used this font up here. So why not save ourselves some time again and we'll just duplicate it, okay? But look, it brings everything with it. It brings that whole text effect. Don't worry about that. Just come on down and go to your shape. And you're just going to get rid of the shape. No problem. So we okay. come over yeah. here. And we're going to um, use this little icon here. This is sort of like if you see signs on the road that say, don't do this, don't do that, or on a door. It just means, no, I don't want it. Goodbye. So now gotcha. we just have renewable energy sources. And for this, I'm just going to type one word, solar. There you go. All right. And we'll go ahead and size that down a little bit. We know what we're talking about. We're talking about solar energy. And we need a description for that. Where do you find the description? Well, remember, we have this handy Google Doc accessible to everybody. True and that. you can simply grab this copy and you can copy that copy, control C, or you can right click on it and select copy. So if I right click, copy that text, come back over here and let's go ahead. And with our text tool, we'll say, add your text. 
And I'll just go ahead, select that text and paste it, which could be control V on your keyboard, or again, right click on it and paste. There you go. All right, it's obviously too large. So what do you do? You select all that text, and over here, you can manually change the size of the text by selecting it. So I'll make it about 100. We'll see how that looks. Much better. Nice. Just like with anything else, you can change the size like so. And Don, what I want to show people is that you can change the alignment of this text. You see how it's centered right now. Everything is centered, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. want it to be on the left. So here is where we go. Alignment right here. And I just tap on left and there, and I can move this into place. I like the size of it, but I don't like the way it's getting so close to that photo. So what do I do? I just pull this way. That gives me a bit more space. I could even pull once more and see if that makes a difference. That looks quite nice. So we've got a little space between our title and then we have our description. And remember, I can change this copy to be maybe italic like that. I'm just playing with the different families and that looks really nice. And maybe you want to use a color derived from that orange. So maybe I could do that here. Let's use our fill color, go to the eyedropper, select that orange, and then come up here to custom. And it's going to start me off with that color and I'll just go a little redder and darker over here. So I'm really saturated. It's kind of like a deep reddish brown color. And that just, that's just a little nicer than using black. It's a, it's a dark color, but it's right. a color that's, you know, from that uh, family. So there you go. Very nice. And we'll do that for the rest as well. We can copy and, and duplicate this entire group, move it here, move it there, and fill in the rest of that, of that text. Um, so Dom, do you want to try that yeah. on the iPad? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so yeah, I'm just working on those things like Carl was doing there. What I, what I did was what I'm what I'm wanting to do here, you see, and I'm I mean I might try with the white actually, might keep the white in there. Um, and click done. Don't forget to click done. Come on, people, I'm clicking done. <laughs> it doesn't. It's always uh, making you do the, the done twice. Yeah, iPad not likey. <laughs> iPad not likey iPad frozen. Uh, well, what I did was here. Oh, there we go. It's going to come back now, though. Yeah. Here we go. On. You can do it. My files. Don't tell me. Don't tell me you're there. You are joking. Oh, oh no. Hang on. Maybe if I refresh, it'll come back. Oh, bombs. Never mind. Right. Oh, right. We're going to have to. It's we're going to have to give Express a bad grade for that. <laughs> It's all yours. Sorry about that. No I basically worries. I was just making one set like you were, you know, the title and the text, and then just and yes. then just planning to duplicate, 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 but then just swap out the text itself. Let me show that process. So I'm I'm selecting my word solar here, and then I'm selecting the copy underneath it. Okay, by holding the shift key and tapping on it, and that of course gives me a larger what we call bounding box right there. And now you see I can move it wherever I like. All right, so we'll keep it there. And what I want to do is duplicate all of that and just reuse it for my wind power and for my hydroelectric. So here we go. I'm going to duplicate it. And if you want to know a fancy keyboard shortcut for that, you could go over here under where it says mixed and you could say duplicate, okay? But you could also hit Control D on the keyboard. Nice. And look at that. It gives me a nice duplicate. I love it. All right. So we'll put that over here. Yeah, and that's nice. you've got some nice spacing going on there. Trying to make sure that there's a lot of breathing room everywhere, you know, and getting about the same spacing between the images, all these kinds of things. Now are with radiant light and like icons in, or are you gonna leave that, you think? I think with the time we have remaining, probably leave the icons out, but I will mention that yeah. you could definitely add icons if you yeah. wish. Yeah, I'll show okay. you a quick way to do that in just a moment. Um, yeah. For solar here, I'll do the same thing as before. I'll just go ahead and use a color. And I can actually reverse out 
the color. So instead of using a darker color than this blue, since it's already quite dark, I can use a lighter color of the blue. So we select that color using the eyedropper tool, go to custom. And right here, I just drag up and to the left. Mm, and now I've got a nice blue. That's such a nice way of doing it. I've never really thought about doing it like that. Oh, good. Yeah, let me have a go at that because I'm back. I am He's back. He's back. He's back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I have kind of done it on this one because you can see my text color down the bottom is sort of like a peachy. Uh, maybe it's a bit lighter than it should be, but I kind of like it. But you could bring it over. That's no, that, no, it needs to be where it was, I think. Yeah, there we go. Um, but just to show you how we would do that is like solar, edit, duplicate, drag it down, put it in that place. And you could also, while you're here, why not just join the party and just keep going? And yes. Then with the text here, duplicate, drag it down. You'll need to change the alignment on this one because now, because it was aligned to the right on the first one. And now you're going to need to be aligned to the left and then mm -hmm. you can make sure it's in the same place there. And then same here, you go to edit, you go to duplicate, you drag it down. So this is the same process uh, and go to align, go to right. This is the same process on any device, doesn't really matter. Uh, but then obviously, like Carl was doing before, select the text, go to color, go to text, go to custom, select the blue. Now, Carl, tell me whether I'm doing this right or wrong. And then he went lighter here. Yeah. So I'm going to bring it over there, maybe even more. So it's still got a little bit of that going on. Yeah, that's a really nice tip. So this one, again, text color, go to custom, select the green. And then again, I'm going to drag this one all the way over to the lighter end, maybe even lighter. So it's still got a little bit of that going on. But there you go. And then once you've done that, all you have to do is go in there, edit, and then edit text. And then obviously change solar for wind. But the beauty of that is, is that it, you know, it keeps it the same as it was before. Right. There we go. I think that is, I'm not going to show people how to, oops, not going to show people how to uh, type in text. That would be no fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I mean, some people, you know, I'm a good text typer. That is true. We don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's their favorite thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, nice. Like, ah, oh, they didn't they didn't show us the writing of the text and oh. <laughs> Righty. <laughs> that looks nice. I like it. Show us how to um show us how to share. I will. Okay, so we want to share this. So what do we do? Well, we go over here to share or download. Now, for share, what you're going to get is options to publish to the web. Okay, so that means you're going to be creating a link. Give it a title, of course, which I, as usual, have neglected to do. <laughs> um, and then when you publish your link, what's going to happen is it'll create a link that you can then uh, copy and share with everybody. But you can also simply download a PNG, which is a great file format for graphics. Um, and then you yeah. could just email somebody, put it on your website, do whatever you want with it, um, post it on social media to your millions of followers, etc. Cool. All right, let's go here. Same process here. The, up in the top right there, you would do the down arrow, save to camera roll. It's already done. Boom. And then you got the up arrow, preparing your file, and then you can decide what you want to do here. You can copy link, and then it'll do its thing, and you'll be able to you know, do whatever you want with that file. Preparing your file, copied, and then it's on your it's on your device then. And you can stick it wherever you like. Right. Let's Excellent. go out of here. Let's well actually let's go here, in fact. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Presents share screen. Uh Chrome tab. Why did that go? I didn't realize it had gone. Right. Can you see the screen now, Kyle? Looks good to me. Time for us making a web page. Yeah, challenge number two. Right, easy peasy. Make sure you've got this button open, Climate Innovations Text. That will open this here, okay? That will open this here. It's what we're going to do now. And then you've got all of these different things that you can stick in. So we're going to whistle. This is going to go through this at lightning speeds, dead easy. So 
Uh, if I go back to uh, share this tab instead, and then I'm going to share my screen. There we go. Right. So uh, this is the same as doing it on the browser as well. Okay. In fact, what I might do, Kyle, give me a second. Remove this. Okay. Let's go here. Let's put this one on. Where is my cursor? Come on. You can give me it back now. It's time to give me a pack. There we go. Uh, go to Express. Okay. I'm going to share this tab instead. Add to stage. Oops. There we go. Okay. I'll just do this one dead quick. So uh, if you're going to do a web page, you want to go to the plus here and then go down. Well, you can just type in web. Uh, not web. Web. No weddings today. Web page. And then give yourself a title. So this could be uh, Climate Innovations. Innovations. Okay. Grab that title. Go down here. Climate Innovations. Put my name in. Dom Trainer. Not D. There we go. Dom Trainer. Okay. Right. In your background. Just click anywhere in the background. You can do short cover split layout. Let's go for photo because it looks better. And then let's go for something like climate change. Stick it in there. Right. Looking for something dramatic. Let's get the attention of our reader. Let's go for this one. I like that. I like the contrast of the two sides. That's kind of nice. Oh, uh, my let goodness. Me, yeah. Yeah. Let me just go to uh, Express Climate. That's where I want to go. Express Climate. Got it down here. Okay. So if I open my if I open my doc, my climate innovations text, right, we've got, we've got four sections here. Four sections. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of that first section. All of it, all of it, all of it. And then I'm going to go back to my page. Scroll to start writing your story down the bottom there. Yeah. So I'm going to scroll. And I'm going to go to split layout. I'm going to press the plus here. I'm going to go to text. I'm going to pop it all in. Right. Beautiful. Now, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Because it will separate out all the sections for you, which is really nice. And then what I can do is go in and I can... Take this link. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm going to do Command or Control and X to, to cut it. And then press the plus again. Go to Video. Put in that link. Save. Embedded video. Simple as that. Easy peasy. Right. Then for my title, I can choose like header one. Mm, quite big. Header two. That's not bad, actually. Uh, or the quote function. What do you think, Carl? I like the quote. Yeah, I like the quote too. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. It looks right. more tightly. <laughs> yeah, it does. It, 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 there's a certain style to it, sartorial style. And then over here, I'll go for solar panels because we're talking about a solar powered school. Let's go to solar panels, go to this one. Uh, what is going on there? Yeah, there we go. And it's just gone in there. And we've got a little. We've got our first section with an embedded video with some explanations down here. Boom, we're done. Okay, you can do the same thing with the second one. Copy all of that. Go to your page. Let's get that out of the way. Let's move these over so we don't get confused. Uh, choose our, and I'm going to do another split layout because it reverses the layout. Now you have your, your image on the right hand side. Go to text, paste all that in. Now, Consistency, consistency. That's what we're looking for. Consistency Always. of titles. Yes. So I'm going to go back to Kyle's favorite title, Ocean Cleaning Robot. Do you know what? I'm going to make a big decision here and take out the colon in all of them. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It's it yeah. doesn't it doesn't really belong. No, not really. Not when it's a title. I think that's I think that's a thing. Now, if uh, if I sort out my YouTube thing here, right, go in there, cut it link twice and then put that there right now if i go and put in ocean cleaning robots uh into my image search i would imagine that we're not going to find anything sorry we didn't find anything okay that's all right because what we're going to do is we're going to go back here and if you scroll down on our page here you'll see image gallery now 
you can click on one of the ocean cleaning robots like this one comes up there and i'm going to right click on it and then save image as and then i'll call it like a c cleaner something like that put it in my downloads folder go back in here upload from device you can see it right there and then we go to c cleaner stick it in boom done easy peasy so there's section one and two done uh yeah, what i what i think i'll do very quickly is show how to start that on the ipad is that all righty yeah 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 i'm building my own on over here on um on the browser yeah. as well just following your lead cool right look at this we're on the ipad now so if you're doing that here you go to adobe express and go to spark page spark page press the plus down the bottom add a title so this is where you can go to your page that you need if i go back to my page here and go and open climate innovations text again you copy and paste that first section so it's exactly the same so this is just this it doesn't matter what device you're on now um you can you can follow along with this it's absolutely the same innovations climate area innovations i've got a different language on here today climate <laughs> innovations nice right i won't put a subtitle on but you can just put the photo on find free images go to climate okie dokie just checking on time we're still doing okay oh yeah um, we're fine yeah and then you got climate there i should have got climate changing i suppose uh this one's quite cool, actually. Oh, that one's good. Right, climate innovations. Put that one in for like floods and things like that. Scroll to start writing your story. Split layout. And it's just exactly the same process as we went through before. Everything looks exactly the same. Okay. Right. So that's how you would get started on the iPad. Now, uh, I'm going to flick back over to my desktop. Okay, let me just get my cursor back. Where are you? You can come back now. Come on. Come on. You can come back. <laughs> you can come back whenever you like. Right. Okay, where is my cursor gone? Come on. There we go. Right. Now, could we done the first two sections here? Now, for section three and four, I'm going to go for Glide Show. This is my favorite. This is my favorite, favorite sort of uh, formula for doing these. Right. Glide shows are really nice. Yeah, they are nice. Right, I'm going to go for tree planting drones. Check this out. I don't know whether this one will go in. I don't know whether it will work. We didn't find anything. Right. You could just do drones. That would be fine. Uh, and then choose one which kind of looks like, you know, it's doing something in a rural kind of landscape. That one's quite cool. Actually, that works. Oh, yeah. And then the other one is wind-powered playgrounds. Now, for this one, you might want to go back to your gallery. You see that one? That's a really good one for tree planting drones. That's how they do it. Um, uh, wind powered playgrounds. Go here, right click it, save image as, and then you could go like wind play, something like that. Wind play could be seen as something different. Right. And then upload from device. Let's get wind play, stick it in there. Right. We've got our two images. Perfect. Now we click save. So here you can see you've got two sections that you can just fill in in exactly the same way as you did last time. Take all of your text, go to your page, find your box, put your text in. Now you can move these boxes around, but what you'll see is Kyle will, Kyle will tell us, why do we not want to put it in the middle or on the right-hand side, Kyle? Well, this is really obscuring the information that is uh, helping you out with the with the photo, I would say. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Visual input. I mean, this is visual literacy as well, isn't it? Which is kind of your, that's your, that's your, just your main thing, isn't it? Visual literacy. I'm a big proponent of it. Yes. Yeah. And I think you're never too young to learn about it. Yeah, exactly. So no point in putting things over the photo that is helping people understand exactly what a tree planting drone is. So let's not do that. So let's keep it all on the left-hand side. See, all the consistency is there, you see. And, you know, Carl was showing us that in the last infographic 
where you know you want to keep the same style the same font the same text the same spacing you know make sure the alignment works for each section well that's what, exactly what we're doing here and then you can scroll onto your fourth section okay carl okay smarty pants what are we going to do with this one well, the process is, is identical. You go back to the web page that you had, or with the, the Google Doc, rather, excuse me, and just copy that whole thing from WinPowered all the way down to the link nope, and add your and text. What I want to know from you, you see, is what I want to know is where would you put this box? Well, for that, I'd move it over to the right. Right. Okay, perfect. Because there's there more visual information on the left. Is that why? Indeed. And we can see the playground. We can see the different... Um, uh, items, objects on that playground, and we can totally read the text clearly here as well because you have less stuff behind the text. It's, it's a translucent box or trans, you know, yeah. so, you know, you don't want a lot of busyness behind that text. You want to be able to read it clearly. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's nice. Well, there we go. That is basically our four sections. So if you want to go to the top and press present, you can see how it looks here, and then you can use your arrows. We're going to go and have a look at Kyle's to see how the Style Master's done it in a sec. So there's <laughs> section one, section two. You can click any of these, and they open up, and you can play. Oh, nice. Very and then, nice. And then you can scroll through to your Glide Show. Ooh. All visual <laughs> information on the right. Uh, more information on the left in terms of text and a video. And then scroll through. And then look at that. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Such a nice transition. It is a nice transition, isn't it? And then we're not covering too much of our wind-powered playgrounds with all of our stuff on the right-hand side there. No, all righty. Kyle, let's see yours. Well, just a couple things I want to mention. Um, and this is just more design stuff for people to think about. It's never too early to think about things like this. Um, mm -hmm. If you know you're going to have a title, uh, sometimes you can think about, can my title have a sort of natural framing device very nice image so th because this image has a circle built into it which is you know it's it's a, a earth made out of grass we see the united states north america there canada etc um very cool but, but if you could if you think about that sometimes can you do more with text and image to frame or isolate or call attention to and so i just wanted to make sure that um People saw this as a way to, to, to present information. It's like one of those other things you could be thinking about when you're using photography. Um, and uh, yeah. because this green shape is all roughly the same color, the busyness of it is is minimized. It's minimal. So you can read the, the text clearly against it. So it really works as a as a graphic device. Yeah, very cool. I like the that second, a lot. Yeah. Now, the rest of it, I, I followed your lead. It did exactly what you did there. Um, the, the second thing I wanted to point out is uh, now this is a this is a thing you can do on the browser. And Dom, I don't know if you can do this on the iPad. You'll have to tell me. But one of the cool things you can do is once you've got your layout done, you've got all your information, you've got all your, your separate pages, there's this little magic wand up here. Yeah. yeah and yeah, I yeah. love it. If you, if you tap on that, you can actually change the fonts and the presentation of the text and even a few other small odds and ends of the entire design simply by tapping on any one of these. So for example, if I were to tap on Chronicle, it'll sit there and think for a moment and it'll take my entire design and then it'll change the fonts and change some of the little, um, the titles and things like that. See that different fonts. And now titles look different. Yeah. Body yeah, text yeah. Looks different. So you, you can try some of these out and see which one you think really works best for your design. Um, if you've got the time, why not? Yeah, cool. Let me um, let me show. Let me just present my iPad again. Okay, uh, and then you go over here. Let's stick this on. So you know, very all the same with the iPad, all exactly the same. So say like I've got my section here. Uh, I've got my title. I've got my first section. Uh, you can change the theme. You can see it up. In the top right, there's a little magic one, like Carl said. You can go in there and change the theme. I kind of like the Wesley one. That's usually a favorite of mine. So do that. And it's changed everything. Maybe here. Do, do you know that's one of the reasons I like the Wesley one? Because the quote function Ooh. makes this nice little sort of 
uh letterbox kind of around titles and things like that yeah that looks great yeah and it's and then it does that kind of stretched out across the top one there as well which i like and then just one more thing before we wrap it up is that when you do your glide show here uh and then you can you know add your photos in you have to you have to kind of come out of all of those you can say on my ipad if you want to get photos there but how do you get photos onto your ipad well if you go back to your climate page here it's just it's almost exactly the same like for tree planting drones for example you have this image open press and hold and you can see there saving photos right and then when Very we go convenient. yeah and then when we go back here now on my ipad recents there we go and then that's done and then you know that that is in there then in your glide show Perfect. and then here no prizes for guessing where we're going to put this box <laughs> but our gentleman on the left we have our i think we know i think it belongs wherever it's not getting in the way yeah yeah that's the non-designer way of saying it <laughs> <laughs> right so sharing it on the ipad same thing you press the little um arrow with, coming out of the box and then you can create a public link there okay uh maybe we'll switch over to cloud show it's just quickly how to share this here on yours there it is so i went ahead and stuck with baldwin and um i didn't finish all the information but i'm well on my way and it's so easy to do and then when you're ready to go you just share it publish to web once again give it a title <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then um yeah it'll create a link and you can do as before copy that link paste it share it with the world and tell them about climate innovations good stuff right there it is that's the wrap uh do pester your teachers mercilessly mercilessly as we always say for your swag when you complete your challenges and also don't forget to sign up for the christmas sessions that are happening in december yes. that link is live bit.ly forward slash adobe leaders you can go yeah. there and sign up for those we've got four we're gonna have some there. super super fun projects for those yeah yeah we're, we're busy building them right now right that's it we're done and dusted hope that was okay miss price you know <laughs> she doesn't need us well You're thank welcome. you very much everyone she's saying thank we'll you thank you